When studying the history of life on Earth, it is useful to understand the age and relative age of key events. There are several ways researchers do this, and taken together we can get a pretty good idea of how long ago particular events happened. Two of these methods we will discuss today are stratigraphy and radiometric dating. The first field of study to understand the age of fossils and rocks is stratigraphy. This field draws on the principle of superposition. That is the assumption that rocks found in the same layer are the same age, and that as you move higher or lower through the layers of the rocks will be younger or older, respectively. Layers are shifted as tectonic plates on Earth move, but geologists are generally able to trace how these changes have occurred. A second method for estimating the age of rocks and other substances is radiometric dating. Radiometric dating uses the rate of decay of radioactive isotopes as a way to estimate the age of substances. The rate of decay of these isotopes has a constant half-life. That is the amount of time it takes for half of the atoms to decay. Consider a rock sample which contains the radioactive isotope uranium-235, which decays into lead-207. The half-life for this decay is 700 million years. This means that 700 million years after the rock was formed, we know that half the uranium-235 atoms will have turned into lead-207. 700 million years after that, another half of the uranium-235 atoms will have turned into lead-207, so only 25% of the uranium-235 atoms will remain. We cannot predict when any one isotope atom will decay, but we know that on average half of them will over the course of that isotope's half-life. For any individual isotope atom, there is a 50% chance it will decay over the course of a half-life. With a large sample size, such as the billions and billions of atoms that make up the rock, this average has a margin of error between 2 and 5%, which is extremely precise. Because many substances contain multiple radioactive isotopes that have different half-lives, we can cross-reference the decay of these isotopes and get an even more accurate estimate of how old the rock is.